Hey folks, welcome back to the Dark Hollow Garage. Got some news. Okay. Now, shoot, I haven't done a long form video in quite a while. Um, been a little busy. Got sidetracked with some stuff. Uh, you know, at the beginning of the year, they put out a new law that kind of messed with us small businesses. So I decided, you know, with one of my customers' stores closing, and the other customer cutting back, not being able to give me as much work, I decided just to go ahead and shut everything down. But, I need car parts once in a while, you know? So I gotta work, right? So I got to thinking, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? So I thought about working at a grocery store. And they had a dairy manager position supposedly at the store near me and I applied for it and come to find out it wasn't really there it was already filled or it was at a different location but that's not what it said on the computer and I tried over uh, at a couple auto parts stores uh, just to be a driver you know easy peasy stuff that didn't pan out they had jobs online saying they were hiring and they weren't so uh Got to thinking, you know, what can I do? What can a guy like me do? I got thinking about my background. And a lot of folks that know me uh, know that I worked for Harley for quite some time. And uh, over a decade. And I got to thinking, uh, kind of like to get back into the motorcycle stuff, maybe. I mean... I know, I know the parts, you know, and uh, was on the parts and service side with Harley, but I didn't want to go back to that per se, but since it's something that I knew really well, it dawned on me. They just built a JP Cycles store here a couple of years ago. So I went on JP Cycle Careers. Show sure enough, they had an opening. Well, so it said on the computer. So I put in an application. And because of the way things are these days, there's a lot of jobs out there on the internet that aren't really open. We're finding out. Uh, my wife uh, has been putting in applications too because her office might close. And she's finding out that, that the jobs are listed on the internet, but they're not really there. They're not open to be filled. Another lady that we know, same thing. She's finding jobs everywhere but on the internet, but they're not really there to be filled. It's weird. I don't know why companies leave the jobs up there like that, but gives folks that want to work like us, you know, gives, gets us a little jaded about seeing a job online. But anyway, I wasn't really sure what I was going to say when I started this, so, but got good news. I called that store at J&P Cycles, and he said the position I wanted, which was receiving, um, he said it was already filled. Well, come to my surprise, it was filled with a great lady, Angela, and uh, she used to be one of my customers at Harley, and I called the store, <clears throat> got a little ahead of myself there, I called the store, and he said, no, that job's been filled, uh, but I do have a, a part-time opening, I was like, all right, yeah, you know, sales, parts counter stuff, floor sales. And uh, J&P Cycles is just parts. Um, they change tires. If you bring the wheel in off the bike, uh, they'll put a tire on for you. He says to me, well, once I get there, he says, yeah, I've got a position. Come over and see me at 1 o'clock tomorrow. I was like, hey, yeah, all right. Get back into business, right? Get over there. Meet the manager named Daniel. Really nice guy. I like him. I like him. And then I find out that Angela's working there. And uh, 
have a great interview. And it was great to see Angela again. And um, so he says, I'll send you an email and you got to uh, e-sign it and, you know, accept the uh, offer. So I did. The email came, boy, real quick, too. I mean, Daniel was on it. And uh, now I can buy Pontiac parts again. <laughs> so they did hire me. And I start in a couple of weeks over at JMP Cycles. Now, JMP Cycles has been around for, God, I know, 50 years or 49 years or something like that. But they're, they're an online store. It's an online catalog store. But they have opened, I think, five. I could be wrong there. Brick and mortar stores. And uh, they, they look to open some more. But uh, I got a job now. I don't know where we'll go with the uh, the dark hollow, uh, but you know I ain't powder coating no more. So that's mainly what I did uh, the dark hollow garage for was my powder coating. But we might find another niche or something to be able to to jump into. Um, they do have bike nights. JMP Cycles has bike nights and stuff like that. So maybe I'll be able to get some shorts and video from that. Cause those would be fun, but uh, yeah, yeah, uh, it's, yeah. It's been what January, and February. We're in March now, and uh, I've been going through the ringer for two months, trying to find you know full time employment. So, yep. Well, that's what I jumped on here real quick to say. I hope everybody's having a great day out there. I hope everybody's doing fine. Tell you what, life's good for me. The Lord answered a prayer. Actually, a couple prayers. And uh, life is good. All right, folks. Well, I'll cut it off here. I don't want to bore you anymore. And uh, I appreciate you coming in, checking us out. Catch you next time.